The Lakers-Kings game from last night, I knew what was going to happen was going to happen. De'Aaron Fox playing the way he did. De'Aaron Fox always plays well versus the Lakers. He always destroys the Lakers. It always happens. He always destroys L.A. players and L.A. teams. Axe LeVar Ball about uh, LaMelo or LaJello or Lo whatever. But at halftime, when the Kings is blowing out the Lakers, at halftime, of course, what do they do? LeBron James has 19 points. LeBron James is doing this. LeBron James is... <laughs> LeBron James isn't doing enough for his team to win. Oh, can't say that. They'll fire you. And that pig, Malika Andrews, I, I can't stand that sloth. They, they get rid of one uh, bed wench in a sage steel for this broad. She, I, I, I can't wait. I, I can't wait for Malika Andrews to have a mental breakdown. And then she's talking about, oh, my God, people on the Internet. They, they, you know, they were so hard on me because I'm a woman and I'm a black woman in a, in a male-dominated field. And people didn't understand me. No, people are hard on you because you're a moron. You're an idiot. You don't know the game you're talking about. You're a puppet. You're pushing agendas. Oh, the LeBron James agenda, it never ends. And what's always been comical to me is the same obsession they have with LeBron James, they had the same obsession with Kobe Bryant. I, I, I've been seeing this lately. There's like people on the internet, they're like, why do, you know, ESPN, the media, they hated Kobe Bryant. What are you talking about? They were obsessed with him the same way they are with LeBron James. I don't know where that lie comes from. The same annoying obsession they have with LeBron James, they had it with Kobe Bryant. I remember the mid-2000s. When, when, when you got to even later, 08, 09, 2010, you could not watch Sports Center after the Lakers game. The whole Sports Center just worshiping Kobe Bryant. It was disgusting. Everything was about him. It was the same delusional obsession. So I don't know where these Kobe Bryant fanboys, I don't know where they get this lie from. ESPN was obsessed with the Lakers. They put them on every week. Mark Jackson was fawning over him. Oh, he's better than Jordan. All this trash. And another thing, a lot of these players from the 90s who's like, oh, this person's better than Jordan. This is better than Jordan. They know they're lying. What happens is they're still butt hurt because in the 90s, Jordan destroyed their team. Sorry, Reggie Miller, you couldn't get a ring. Sorry, Mark Jackson, you drunk, allegedly. Allegedly, if you know, if, if you know what I know, allegedly Mark Jackson has a flask inside of his suit jacket at every ESPN ABC broadcast. Allegedly. Not my words, allegedly. <laughs> the good Christian man, Mark Jackson. Well, the Warriors... They chose rainbowism over the most high. So that's why Steve Kerr stole Mark Jackson's rings. But a lot of these players, they, they crown someone else is better than Jordan because they're butt hurt. They don't really believe it. Pippen. Yeah, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen is another one. Pippen, one minute this person's better than the next minute this person's better. Pippen had the nerve to say he was better than Jordan. I was leading the Bulls in the 90s. <laughs> Please. Please. If you were leading the Bulls, and, and I like Scottie Pippen as a ball player, but outside of the court, Scottie, I made this video. Look it up on my channel, The Insecurity of Scottie Pippen. Scottie Pippen is one of the most insecure athletes I've ever seen. My God. But back to Kobe Bryant, they had the same obsession. I remember I could not watch ESPN. It was so annoying just fawning over Kobe Bryant. And they do the same thing. They just made it LeBron James now. But that's you same people because this, this is the problem with fans. This is the problem with people. You worship somebody, but then when they are gone, oh, move to the next person. So the same people, the same delusional people who are lying, you know LeBron James is not no top player. You know he's not a top 10 player. You know he's not. You're puppets for what ESPN tells you. And or you don't know the history of basketball. You have no perspective because if you did, you'd have to notice whatever LeBron James has accomplished. He's doing it in the weakest era ever. You can't play defense. Everything is an open court to shoot threes. Of course, he's going to have the scoring record. He came in the league at 18 and they made the league easier. They turned it into the Euro League. Of course, he's going to have the scoring record. He played on the Cavaliers for nine seasons and had nobody else with him. 
Who you think is going to take the shots? Him or Drew Gooden? Him or Sasha Pavlovich? When he got Shaq, Shaq was, was ran down. Antoine Jameson was, was washed up. Mo Williams was an all right role player. So of course he's going to have a scoring record. He always played on teams where they only went to him. But, you know, it's funny. This is how you know it's an agenda. Because the same people worshipping LeBron James, it's an agenda when you only promote one side of things. Oh, he has the scoring record. How come you don't mention he has the record for the most turnovers? He has the record for the most... Uh, 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 <laughs> he has the record for the most missed shots. How come, he has a lot of records, but why do you only mention the one-sided ones that you think make him look good? Why don't you mention the other ones? That's how you know it's an agenda. A fanboy, idolatry, man-worshipper agenda. How else do you know it's an agenda? Whenever the Lakers lose, they never talk about the team that beat them. They don't talk about De'Aaron Fox. No, no, no. The first thing is, well, LeBron scored this many points. Well, well, LeBron did this. Well, LeBron did this. Do you know how old he is? Oh, my God. LeBron is so old. Oh, my God. LeBron James. Oh, my God. He's so old and he's doing this. Like, LeBron James, he's like R. Kelly. He's an older guy who keeps playing with the youth. Hit the like button. Share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Th this nonsense never ends. And the funniest thing ab about all of it, when LeBron James retires... First of, all, first of all, it's two things. Let, let me back up. The funniest things about these delusional people who all of a sudden they love LeBron James, these are the same people saying he was a coward when he went to South Beach. When he took his talents to South Beach, you were the same people saying he's a bum, he's, he's weak, he's trash, he's a coward, burn his jersey. You were the same people doing that. I remember when he made the decision. I was happy. I was like, yeah, you know, he, he he's smart enough to know Cleveland does not, Cleveland as a front office doesn't know how to build a team. They, they took eight, nine years of his career, and the best they gave him was washed up players from 1998. Larry Hughes had a great year in Washington. He, I believe he led the league in steals. He was an all-star. I believe he didn't play an all-star game because he hurt his, I think he hurt his thumb or he hurt his hand. Larry Hughes, who should have stayed in Washington, but he left for more money. You know, at that time, I believe that was 05, I believe. At that time, Larry Hughes had the best season of his career as a wizard. It was tremendous. They had so much potential, but then he left for the money. And then Larry Hughes' career died in Cleveland. He was terrible. His field goal percentage was embarrassing. But then, you know, Larry Hughes had some personal things. I believe he had a, a, sibling, a close sibling pass. So he may have been going through things. Real life is more important than a sport. That's another thing these delusional man worshippers don't get. And then at the same time, Ben Wallace, they were they were building a dynasty in Detroit, damn near. And then Ben Wallace left for the money in Chicago. And then Ben Wallace was horrible on the Bulls. Oh my goodness, he was terrible. But he got paid. Should have stayed in Detroit. Should have stayed in Detroit. So this is what that era was. And, and another thing, you have these people, th this is more that moronic, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what it is about people, it's like people, they, they bathe in their own ignorance. You have the, I've seen this nonsense, um, Jordan played versus truck drivers, Jordan played versus nobodies, okay, so you're telling me Isaiah Thomas, Bird, Parrish, Dennis Johnson, James Worthy, uh, uh, Mitch Richmond, Rod Strickland, Chris Webber, Young Kobe, Shaq Penny, Jason Kidd, uh, uh, young uh, <laughs> Antoine Walker, um, Kenny Anderson, Drazen Petrovic, uh, Mutombo, Alonzo Mourning, Tim Hardaway, uh, uh, Chris Mullen, Reggie Miller, Jalen Rose, uh, 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 Anthony Mason, uh, Patrick Ewing, uh, <laughs> John Starks, Stockton Malone, Gary Payton, Sean Kemp, Detlef Shrimp, Arvidas Sabonis. These are nobodies. Those are truck drivers. Clyde Drexler is a truck driver. Glenn Rice. Bobby Fills. Mookie Blaylock. Spreewell. Allen Houston. Marcus Camby. Did I say Larry Johnson? Calbert Chaney. These are truck drivers. David Robinson. Sean Elliott. 
Mario Ellie, Vernon Maxwell, Sam Cassell, Ray Allen. These are truck drivers. Jerry Stackhouse. These are truck drivers. Vince Carter, Kobe Bryant. Did I say Kobe Bryant already? Iverson, Paul Pierce. He played versus nobodies. He played versus truck drivers. But 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 uh, and, and what these what these morons will do, they'll find some clip where Jordan is killing some some backup shooting guard they never heard of. Look at Jordan, he's killing this guy, but who is this guy? Great. Anybody can take something out of context. Great. So you want to say Jordan played versus nobodies? Look at the players in LeBron's era. Joe Harris? Who? Brian Cardinal? Who? Kwame Brown? Jahidi White? Rasho Nesterovich? LeBron James played versus nobodies. And he's still going to break the finals losses record. <laughs> no, he won't, because he won't get back to one. You want to talk about playing versus nobodies? Look, look at who Le Le LeBron is. Look who he played with. Sasha Pavlovich. LeBron played versus Sasha Vujicic. DJ Benga. Chris Mim. Anybody can play that delusional game. This is why I don't debate with people. They don't know what they're talking about, and everything is some irrational emotion. Is LeBron James an all-time uh, uh, you know, Hall of Fame player? Yes. Is he the best player? No. Is he number two? No. I don't know where this idea comes from. Well, well, he's at least number two. No, he's not. And when you say he is, you don't know the history of this game. You know what ESPN has been telling you in the last 10 years. He's not better than Iverson. He's not, I'm, he's not better than Reggie Miller. He's not better than a lot of players. But you don't know this because you're a man worshiper. These people, in their mind, the best players are LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan. They have no knowledge of history. These are the same stupid people talking about, well, Robert Ory should be in the Hall of Fame. Why? Robert Ory averaged five points a game. Robert Ory did not impact the games. He made those big shots because the whole building is staring at Shaq. And Kobe. So you might be wide open. And you're, you're a professional basketball player. You should make an open shot. The, the building is looking at Tony Parker and Duncan. You might be open. The building's looking at Olajuwon. You might be open. But a shot or shots in the biggest moment, that don't mean you're a Hall of Famer. That means you did your job. But they didn't make it to the finals because of Robert Ory. If you look at those Lakers teams... He didn't even start. The starter was A.C. Green. The starter was Horace Grant. The starter was Samaki Walker. It wasn't Robert Ory. Robert Ory was never Robert Ory was never a star player. He was never the second best player. He wasn't even the third best player. On, on, the, on, on, the, on the Rockets teams in the 90s, the best players were Olajuwon and then Vernon Maxwell and then Drexler and then maybe Robert Ory. On the Lakers, he was never the best player. It was Shaq, Eddie Jones, Nick Van Axel, Kobe, Rick Fox, then him. Then later on in 2002, it was Shaq, it was Shaq Kobe, Rick Fox, Glenn Rice, maybe him. Robert Ory's not a Hall of Famer. He was in the right place at the right time. Take Robert Ory off the Rockets, take him off the Lakers, take him off the Spurs. They're still going to make the finals and win it. It would have just been Derek Fisher hitting a shot or Glenn Rice or Mitch Richmond or, or Mario Ellie, who Mario Ellie did. Oh, Mario Ellie was a, Mario Ellie was a great player. That's another thing with these morons. They think great players. They think a great player was only an all star. No, no, no. You don't understand what a great player is. A lot of these role players were great players, but they played their role. because That's what you do in team sports, but they don't know the game. Jamal Mashburn was more talented than LeBron James. But you wouldn't know that because you only look at who's the most popular person promoted to you. But if you knew the game, Jamal Mashburn was a killer. But he played with other killers. So if you look at his stats, it won't reflect that. It's also circumstance in sports. LeBron James had a, everything afforded to him. But you wouldn't recognize that because you're so blinded by your fandom. And that continued blinding is... The Lakers are getting their asses whooped, and De'Aaron Fox is killing, but uh, LeBron James has 19 points. LeBron James, LeBron. It's idolatry, and I'm not going to allow that on my channel. And with that said, hit the like button, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm up out of here. Donate to the Cash App, 
and uh, look forward to my next uploads.